Hey, how's it going? We've got a couple of strumming patterns here. The big one is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And we're going to coordinate our right hand and our foot. So our hand and our foot are doing the same thing. First one goes like this. The next one, we've got a quarter note on beat one. So that's just going to be a down strum on the first one. One. Everything else is the same. One. Next one, we double up one, two, and, and just do it twice in a row. Sounds like this. One, two, and, one, two, and. Real simple. Back to the first one. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And now we're going to miss on count number three. What's a miss? We're going to move the pick out this much and strum air. We're going to pick air. I've heard this called a ghost strum. We're just picking air. But we're still going to get it on the way back up. In super slow-mo, it's on count number three. We're going to miss it. One, two, three. All the rest of them are the same as before. Down, up, down, up, down, up. One, and two, and three, and four, and... And the last one is going to be uh, just a quarter note on one, like we did a second ago. It's one, two, and... This is the one for pumped up kicks. We're gonna do for each chord that strum one time. So it's gonna go one, two. The big concept here is that your hand is a clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. If you find yourself freezing your hand or making one slower and one faster and slower and faster, Remember that the whole point is to go down, up, down, up, and just keep it real even. Cool. Also, we had a couple of finger exercises. One, two, and three. You can start in any fret. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. One, two, three. Try to keep your fingers glued down there rather than having them lift up after you after the last one. Next one, one, two, three, four. You can do it in any fret. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Good for exercises, and last but not least, moving up one string is going to be open, one, two, and three. Then we shift the whole hand up to the fourth fret for a one, two, three, four. Then we shift the whole hand up to the eighth fret for another one, two, three, four. And then twelfth fret all together now is something like that. And Keep working on those. They're really going to help you with your coordination. Cool. And everything else you're playing, we didn't get to the book today either, so try a little bit of that, and we'll see you next time. Good job.